Hello, beautiful people. It's Celia Muswening Zengele here. You've got no idea how much I miss you guys. Eh, I keep saying I'll come back, I'll come back. I don't want to make any more promises anymore because I don't keep them. Eh, there are things that are just popping up all the time. Unexpected things that are disturbing my schedules. But I'm still here. We still move. Eh, if you're coming across this YouTube channel for the first time, welcome. If you are a return subscriber, all the new subscribers and everybody that has been supporting me from day one, you are welcome for all your support and appreciated for your unwavering support. Thank you. Um, as you can see, I'm going to talk about police officials in this video. Uh, you must have heard by now that uh, there is a video that is doing the rounds that is circulating on social media, people sharing it. Uh, this video is said to be depicting that a female police official uh, was raping her son that was 10 at the time of the incident. Now, I want to read the report as it is before I give my commentary. Uh, there was a media statement that was released by South African police uh, yesterday, if not a day before. No, on the 26th of January. That was yesterday. Yes, it's dated the 26th of January. Uh, it says, uh, Provincial Commissioner orders immediate internal processes against police constable for allegedly sexually abusing his son Polokwani, the provincial commissioner of police in Limpopo Lieutenant General Tembi Hadebe has expressed shock and strongly condemns the incident in which the police constable is shown on a video clip that has gone viral on uh, on social media having sex with her then 10 year old son soon after becoming aware of the video the provincial commissioner ordered the family violence child protection and sexual offenses unit which is the fcs to conduct an immediate probe into the incident with the view of apprehending the policewoman and removing the child to a place of safety the case of rape of a minor with additional charges of creating and distributing child pornographical material and sexual grooming of a child was opened on the 20th on the 20th of january and the suspect was arrested on the same day the case of rape of a minor yes okay on the same day and then in internal police processes have already kicked in following her arrest and will run parallel with the invest a criminal investigation that has uh, been taken over by IPED the actions of this woman are deplorable and deserve harsh condemnation even though the suspect allegedly committed this crime when she was still public service act employee of the SAPS. she should have known better that such unbecoming behavior deserved harsh consequences the south african police service does not have the space for such people to tarnish its image <laughs> uh, said the lieutenant general Hadebe. <laughs> shame the provincial prov uh, commissioner has already ordered that the suspect be subjected to immediate internal processes in terms of the south african police disciplinary regulations the suspect who is 40 years old appeared in marble magistrate court on monday the 23rd of january and was remanded in custody until the 30th of january 2023 the child has been removed to a place of safety where he will be given psychological treatment and assistance
the identity of the woman cannot be divulged to protect the child that is why i also uh, covered her face and her hands so that at least there isn't anybody that is able to recognize her whoever recognizes her will have to recognize maybe they would they would be the person that knows her um personally for them to recognize him uh, this ne, this is one of the things that are ish, very disturbing and triggering for me fine number one uh, is triggering because it's a parent that does this to the child now uh, uh, I think uh, many of you may have heard that there's also there are also two other stories that are running parallel to this story one of the story is that uh, she did this under duress somebody was um, taking that video forcing her to do this to the child um, is it highly unlikely no it is possible uh, in South Africa we live in a country that is full of possibilities therefore that is a possibility and also there is another story that says um, some she went to some pastor because she was she was not getting married the pastor um, ordered her to do this so that she can send the evidence uh, that's how she will get um, the marriage so we don't know uh, any of the of those two stories is there anyone that is holding water there we've got no idea but uh, no matter what the case was I have a problem still let's say the first scenario it is true that she was um, forced to do this under duress we are said we as you can as you can hear from the uh, statement this is not a recent uh, event this is something that happened way back even though the police statement does not state clearly which year it happened and how far back it was it does state that it is in the past it happened in the past when the child was 10 at the time and the child is said to be 12 years old is about to turn 13. now we have a picture that okay this child was a minor still a minor even now uh, when this happened um, my problem with her would be if this was done to her under duress how come she let it slide from then up until now as a police official she should have uh, known better methods as to how to make this a, a case that is serious she should have thought about the damage that happened to her own child because definitely there was a lot of emotional damage that we don't even know whether it will ever be um, compensated by by even cancelling we, we don't know whether that child will ever be okay will ever be himself after what happened now my problem is that she did not report that's number one if she was under duress then the second problem is if there is a pastor what 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 um still why did she pass participate in that then she is very very guilty for being foolish for following the foolish ideas of these foreign pastors because it said that a uh, that person was a, a a foreign nigerian pastor we don't know both of these um stories whether any of the two is holding water is true we'll hear uh, if she will ever uh, see the day in court because there's also a rumor circulating right now about an hour ago to say uh, she she has passed on so we don't know any of of these these are unproven stories um the first one that she did that under duress the second one that she did that under the influence of the pastor and that she had passed on um we don't know we, i'm hoping that she she survives this 
I do know that wherever she is, she never thought this would ever surface the way it did. Plus, this happens two to three years ago. Uh, that would mean that she thought she won. She thought, ah, it's water under the bridge. It's over. Unfortunately, uh, it has come back to bite her. And now I do know that she regressed. Wherever she is, she is not herself at all. Now, um, can she be just a plain pedophile? A pedophile is a person that is attracted to um, having sex with children or that has sexual attractions to children. It's called a pedophile. Can she be a pedophile? Yes, it is highly possible as well. Can she um, record herself while doing that? Yes, then that would mean she is a psychopathic uh, pedophile because there are psychopathic pedophiles that have to find um, pleasure in seeing what they've done. They may look at it over and over again to get that pleasure. Maybe thinking that, okay, uh, sometimes you won't be, she won't be doing that to the child. Uh, she will be looking at the at the, at the video instead how did it surface to the social media we don't know uh, it could be her but then that would mean she is very 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 sick extremely sick she would be not just a psychopath she would be a sociopath you know she would be I don't know because who in the right mind would um, record themselves doing such that's number one Number two, thinking about just um, spreading it. We don't know. But there is another issue that I want to raise. The police officials in Limbobo. <laughs> Guys, I have seen, I have witnessed with my own two eyes the corruption of the worst kind. I've, I have seen the police stopping a whole vehicle of about 16 people inside, taking out, opening the, the car, taking out all the, the, the foreign nationals coming from Zimbabwe without a proper documentation, putting them outside and asking them 100 rands just so that they can uh, get a bypass. I'm not talking about something that happened a long time ago. I'm talking about something that happened yesterday. Yes, yesterday. That was another incident that I witnessed with my own two eyes. Ha! Huh. Yeah. So, why do I mention that? I mentioned that because this is, I've seen corruption in so many ways, just in Limpopo. I've seen corruption eh, somewhere, but I've never seen to the level in Limpopo. So I'm imagining if you are an official that does not want to participate in that, don't you think there could be someone that can um, pressurize you to do something that is also unlawful, that they can blackmail you with, that they can instruct you to do some of the things just so that you know that they've got leverage on you. It could be something like that. This is just my thinking. And uh, it could be that um, maybe she owed someone. And then that someone made sure that they do this so that uh, she can uh, certainly pay them. And maybe it could be that they had threatened that should you not, we are going to release it's, it's highly possible. All all these factors are highly possible. So we won't we d we won't know actually what happened. Only her and the son, and whoever that may have been present in that room, know what happened. Let's just hope that a child can tell the truth, because it is not certain that a child can tell the truth. Ask me, I know. Uh, sometimes the child feels like they have to protect their parent 
sometimes the child can think of oh my mom is going to go to jail my mom is going to my mom who will feed me who will be my mother who will be because guys when incest happens in families that is the worst kind of a mess up situation that can ever happen anyway because these people are related they, they are emotions real raw emotions that are involved between these people there is empathy that is natural empathy that is there within the between these people so it's sometimes difficult to even get the truth just based on the person truly feels for the other the one that perpetrated them sometimes they may have been groomed to a point where they feel it was okay because the grooming like somehow the person can groom you to a point where you feel like this is okay this is how we should do it like ah, it's a normal now for them to discover for the first time that it's not okay whereas their own very own parent that brought them to this world told them it's okay it is very very difficult to convince them otherwise so guys we live in a very uh, messed up society this messed up society has messed so many men when they were boys there are so many boys that were uh, victimized sexually by older women being their moms this is not an isolated case there are many other uh, cases that do not even surface because naturally boy children are not even like girls they don't talk much about such things when they happen to them so many you would know that Taylor Perry is one of them that's an international star that has admitted there are many men that we know personally that would never even admit that this has happened but you see their actions are not normal towards women some of the gender-based violence and femicide that we are dealing with today is the result the direct result of things like these that happened in boys children when they were children and it messed them up to a point where they are angry at all the women they are angry at anything that looks like a woman and they would do horrible things to all the women because they cannot even go back to the person that had them directly they cannot even talk about it and they cannot get their justice therefore they seek their justice in all the other wrong places that look like are similar to their original problem or the original uh, place where they were they were hurt most they were violated most so i don't know where do we hide our boys mothers um i don't know this is now a this is a pandemic that we do not want to 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 go up it's already there there's already been there now that we are talking about it can it not make more women to do such can it work um to help women to see the danger in doing this the damage of doing this no matter how horny you are as a woman go make other plans guys leave the children alone leave the poor children alone i have once spoken about this we do know the challenges of being a woman a single woman and not having a partner we do know all that guys they are the i will preach this for as long as i live there is masturbation that god never said it's wrong anywhere in the bible there is also toys that you can buy and do whatever instead of hating your own children please uh, thank you so much for listening up until this far and um please leave a comment in the comment section tell me how, what do you think about this story um are you as sad as i am about it um this is this is bad guys it's very very bad um Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.